Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by and welcome to part five of my end of season updates. This is going to be a ripe mixture. Some giants, some little stuff, some stomach, stuff out of the house. As before, a mix and match. You'll never know what's coming next. <laughs> Even I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll put this part together and um, we'll see how we go. Now these are some of the holy clay pots. I'm doing these um, very quickly on the grounds that I've quite recently done an update on the holy clay pots, so a bit repetitious. But a um, couple of new acquisitions. There's this one here. Um, it's got no tag until I get round to doing it. Its new growth is pushing on. There's no sign of new roots on that one, but it has a good root system. New roots will come eventually. This is another new acquisition. Um, this one's coming on, it's got a new growth, again no signs of new roots yet, but again it's got a good root system, so not particularly worried. This one however is a worry, because I did suspect that that new growth was broken, and I think the fact that it's now dying off has confirmed that. This has got some green root tips, so um, you know this, this will push on and it will find another eye somewhere to push out eventually. In fact at the base of that large one in the middle, or possibly at the one behind the new growth, but it will find another place to grow. It's not the end of the world. Um, this is um, not a caviar. <laughs> this is an insiclia. Prismatocarpa. Two nice new growths on this, pushing on. Um, maybe one day I'll see some blooms, but I haven't as yet. Um, these are the two rescue catlias that I think are going to make it now. I mean, this one does have a new growth. It's growing very slowly because it's got no root system to support it. It's got a single root, which is now branched. So the bottom of the plant's getting a bit better, which should improve the top of the plant. Um, the other piece of the same plant has got a reasonably strong new growth coming out and that's the one that did have some roots and those roots are growing well down in the pot. There's not many of them but there's enough to support one new growth so those two are coming on. And the one lurking at the back is um, the only Phalaenopsis in a, in a holy clay pot and that's um, Zen Ming Brontosaurus. Got a nice spike coming on on that, that should be in bloom soon. And um, yeah, that one's doing quite well. It's got quite a good root system down in that pot. Well, these are all my um, Paphiopedalums. Um, quite honestly, I'd forgotten I had this many. These really do get ignored. Now, one of the main reasons I got these was the leaves. I know most people get them for the blooms. I love the leaves and I'm happy for them to be around because of that. Because quite honestly, if you want to wait for blooms, well, don't hold your breath. They are slow. Nonetheless, um, this one here is the only one I can say I've got a reasonable progression on. There's actually some old fans that haven't died off. Um, that's Magical Venus, currently in Spike. Come on. About Christmas, I reckon. <laughs> and most of the others are just single fans, because every time they produce a new growth, the old one dies. Now this is the new growth, that's the old part of the plant. It's probably not going to hang on, it might do. The idea is to get more than one new growth at the same time. That's probably been registered, but at the moment it's just a, it's just a hybrid. Those are its two parents. It's probably got a name by now. No sign of a bud on that one yet, but the new growth's pushing on nicely. Uh, this one is a typical one of my um, Paphiopedalums, because the old part of the plant just died. The new growth's doing okay, but it's still a single fan plant. It's got no strength. That's Evelyn Rourke. No sign of any bud on that one. Um, this one is Macabre. I've had this one a long time. Does it show? No, because I've still only got one fan. I've had this one quite a lot of years. It's bloomed for me several times. There's no sign of it doing it at the moment. But I love the colour of these leaves. They're a paler colour with the mottling rather than the darker green. So that's that one. Um, let's get the two miniatures out of the way because I don't really want to handle these. These have just been repotted. 
This had a single root and some root nubbins. That one has no roots at all, but it has signs that it could possibly grow some roots. That's Delanartii, and it's the variety Vinicolor. And this one is a species called Tom Tonsum. T-O-N-S-U-M, strange word. But that should recover now. Um, media changed, and um, it's quite a nice little plant. Both of those are miniatures. They won't grow much bigger than that. Uh, this thing I've had ages, it's done nothing. I would say well over a year, it's done nothing. Well, it's finally decided to try and grow a new leaf. Um, that one came from Ratcliffe's before they uh, closed down and it's one of their own crosses, um, so it's registered, and those are the two parents. Uh, whether I ever see that bloom or not, I don't know. Um, this one is Mordii, which I was always under the impression was a species, but it's not, it's a hybrid. Um, this one <laughs> grows two new growths religiously since I got it, and they bloom one after the other. But the old plant tends to die and leave two new growths with um, blooms on and then it grows two more new growths. <laughs> I really would love to get a, a Paphio Petalum with a dozen fans on it that each year pushes out four or five new growths and gets some strength into it. You know, But so far no go, uh, but one's got a spike, the larger of the newest growths. And this is the other new growth and I suspect that will bloom probably about a month behind this one. And given that the blooms last for months, they may both be out at the same time, but certainly one spike so far. That's my Paphio Pedalums. The Forgotten Orchid, because it lives outside. This is my only Cymbidium. Um, it was repotted as two bulbs um, with a new growth. The new growth has come on really well this year. Um, very big fat bulb, and it's doing something down there. Now what that something is I don't know. I know next to nothing about cymbidiums. I don't know what that is. That could be another new growth. It could be a spike. We'll have to wait and see. But it lives outside so I don't get to look at it very often. I forgot this giant when I did the bulb of films as well simply because it lives in the house. It's the only one that needs to come indoors. It's a, it's a real warm grower this one if it ever does grow. One leaf, that's all it's ever had. Thank you Archie for donating this. Um, it did actually attempt to bloom. I should have cut that spike straight off. Um, basically zero roots, but it is now growing roots. There are roots down in the pot. Some. I wouldn't say it's an extensive root system, but it's got some roots. What it hasn't got is any sign whatsoever of a new growth. If and when it gets a new growth, I will actually mount it and get it up the right way because although that looks like it's up the right way it's not. This needs to go upside down that's how they grow. Yeah? And as Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis goes that's not a big leaf. <laughs> I've seen these well over a metre long. Um, yeah, I mean if it starts doing things like that it, uh, it may need a new home. But at the moment I put up with it you know, it was a present, I'm trying, I've grown some roots, and um, I need a new growth on this. Now, these are my um, larger bulbar films, larger in taking up lots of space. <laughs> <laughs> this one um, decided to push out its new growth. This has long rhizomes, and it's just going to climb out of the pot, I know it is, but the latest growths butted up against the edge of the pot and is now shooting upwards. That's uh, Delitescans. Um, Non-bloomer but growing and um, it has got some roots down in there somewhere. Um, this one, if it's named correctly, has got a horrible bloom. Crassipes. Um, but um, when Archie gave me um, this plant he wasn't sure whether that's what it actually was. It has got something growing out of the latest bulb <laughs> but I'm no expert on these that may be another new growth um, I don't know whether I dare I risk it yeah I might be able to twist that rhizome into the pot so that whatever that is at least is inside the edge of the pot 
Um, these need to stay moist. If they keep climbing out of the blinking pot, their roots are difficult to keep moist. So they're sort of their own undoing, shall we say. But, um, I mean, that's the latest new growth. It's big, it's strong, good new leaf. So it's growing and it's now going to do something. I'll let you know. <laughs> now this is my favourite Volvo film because I just like the look of it. Um, this is a hybrid Wilbur Chang. Um, the latest growths have wonderful new leaves. There's plenty of them. I mean if you look at that bulb there, that pushed out a new growth both sides and a mass of roots to go with them. So that side of the plant's doing well and over this side it pushed out a new growth as well which has also done the roots thing so it's growing well as yet a non-bloomer but um, that's a big strong plant there's no reason why at least one of those new growths shouldn't bloom um, this is Elizabeth Ann Buckleberry the popular Bulbophyllum I think most people if they've only got one they've probably got this one now this, this one's grown quite a few new growths um, that one there near the edge of the pot with the dangly bit, that was a new growth once. I believe that one actually bloomed. And then that's pushed out two more extensions, both outside the pot. Well done, mate. Um, this one over here is another new growth, good leaf. And the latest one over this side has actually got a spike on. So we're going to have some Elizabeth Ann Buckleberry buds and blooms coming soon. Um, quite honestly, looking at the size of that bulb and the point at which it pushed out a spike, it's highly likely that the other new growths will follow on, you know, as they get to their full size, so they spike. And this one seems quite a reliable bloomer for me. The one. That's got it. Managed to bend that background in there without it snapping and put a stake over the rhizome. And the bulb is now just above the media. Um, the roots are just touching it um, and whatever that is growing up there has now got somewhere to go and some roots have got somewhere to go and it's all inside the pot bonus right I'm going to knock this lot out in one go <laughs> this is my um, Dimorphorchis now I left that in its original media and um, it was starting to break down so this has been very recently taken out of its pot and, and put in chunky bark um, literally in the last couple of days so that now needs to be hydrated and allowed to dry in between each time so uh, Dimorphorchis lauii it's uh, a set of plants owned by four or five people at the moment um, this is the kiki off of the plant that won't grow and I've already done that. This doesn't look like it's going to make it. That's a phalaenopsis type called Thai Angel. It has beautiful blooms and that doesn't look good. But you never know. If it shoots out from the base, it has some roots. So that's a wait and see. Um, what's this one over here? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, that's Comet King. That was actually a present from... Uh, Rachel. So that, that's grown a nice growth this year. It's a um, nobly type, deep um, magenta type colours with bright yellow on. Um, smashing bloom, but uh, you know, it was a kiki. It's, it's growing on well. Now this is my um, Dendrobium rhodostictum um, with two buds pushing on nicely. Quite a young plant, but this doesn't grow huge. Um, I'd like to see some new growths coming out of the base, but it's blooming on the latest one. That'll do. <laughs> now, these two kikis have only just been taken off the plant. The plant, I don't think, is going to make it. <clears throat> it's actually a Dendrobium anosmum semi-alba. Never been a good plant for me. It just won't grow. And all it's done this year is produced some kikis. So... I've decided to take them off and start these as new plants. Obviously a very long way off blooming. And you're going to laugh at this because it looks stupid. But it's what it is, not how big it is. This is Dendrobium nesta. <laughs> so is that. <laughs> it produced a kiki and I thought, I'm going to try and grow that. And I broke it off, stuck it in some moss, and it promptly died. But then it shot out at the base. So, 
<laughs> that quite honestly is a little bit of fun. I have a perfectly healthy mother plant that you know that I've had a while and blooms well. Now that is a long way off being anything worth having. So it takes up no space, so it can just live with the other smaller plants and kikis. It's not in my way. It has actually got some roots coming now. So uh, that's that little group. Right, these are my two zygopetalums and um, these are a bit special because these two are living zygopetalums and haven't joined their predecessors under the hedge. I've actually got two growing. Now other clips have, have uh, described an auction with a zygopetalum that I wanted to buy and it had two other plants in the box which are in other clips but this was what I wanted. Um, now this, this is another little story. This is Arta Ellie. Now that, it's a variety named Stonehurst, warded plant as well. That's why I wanted it. Um, I had to put up the other two in the box, but they're okay plants, you know. Um, but that's the old English way of, spaying, of spelling Arthur. You know, in, your, in the legend of King Arthur and all that sort of cobblers, that is highly likely how his name would have been spelt in those days. Yeah. So anyway, that's one that was bought with um, this growth maturing and since then it's pushed out this growth. The pot has not got a lot of roots in there, but it's producing them. That's all I'm interested in. And the fact that it's growing and it's growing a green, healthy looking shoot and the leaves on the previous growth are still there. <laughs> that's a bonus. Um, this is the Luisendorf. I've had this one a while now. And it's pushing on new growths, it's pushing out roots, and it's not dead. That's pretty good stuff for me with zygos. This looks like a huge swelling at the base of this. It's going to do something. It might be a root. Um, we shall see. And it's got this thing here that's been sat like that for a while. Doesn't seem to want to grow. Don't know whether that's a spike or a new growth. And then we've got this new growth here pushing on, and another one at the base starting and you can see the sheer volume of roots that this thing's pushing out. I defy that to fail. <laughs> Go on, I dare you. <laughs> so two zygopetalums anyway. Now these two, um, let's get this one out of the way. This was bought as a single cane kiki, actually in bloom. This is Dendrobium delicatum. It's a kingianum type um, and it's is probably one of the most fragrant of the Kingianums. Very, very fragrant. White blooms, um, Kingianum shaped blooms, um, and it's grown this new cane this year. Only two leaves on the top, but it didn't have the best of a root system when I got it. And um, it may well bloom again off the old cane. As I say, it was in bloom when I got it. There's no reason why these buds won't push on. Um, but again, I'm looking for more canes on this. I need to get this. Um, I've seen these plants four foot tall and three foot across. Absolute giants these can get into over the years, obviously. Now this one is Roy Tokanaga White Knight. It's been in bloom a long time. Lovely, long lasting blooms. Um, two spikes came off the previous cane that matured and I've got one two more canes reaching maturity so in theory I should get a succession of blooms but um, we are heading into winter that might reduce its blooming power until the spring we'll have to wait and see all of my Latoria types are quite new to me so you know I haven't got enough years worth of experience to know how they progress but that's good news there's another new growth about to push out of there that are good so, yeah, a lovely plant. Well pleased with that one. Now, this strange looking thing is um, Odontodia devossiana, um, endearingly known as the dirty Odontoglossum because the older bulbs go black. <laughs> That's a good job I know that, or I'd have had God knows how many sprays on that thing. Um, the bonus on this one is right down here, there is a sign of a new growth. See now that leaf's going to fail, um, probably got knocked a bit, um, it's where the spike's coming out of so I think I will actually take that off 
um, while well, I've got the chance. And anyway, the blooms have lasted a very long time. They are very attractive, but very small, and a very branched stem. But I don't know about you lot, but that looks like it's going to extend there, and possibly there. So it just goes to show on some things, especially when they're new plants, you know, don't hack the spikes off too quick. I and mean, quite honestly, it would probably do the plant some good to take that spike off. But if it's going to extend, it will only extend with a few blooms. I think it's strong enough to take that. So I'm just going to leave that spike for now. Once it's had it, it'll start going that straw colour and start to die back. So as long as it stays green, it can stay there. And it looks like, I'm pretty sure that's going to extend. So a couple more blooms in a while. <laughs> Lovely little blooms on this, but they are small. Boy, have I had trouble with this one. Um, this is a Prosthetia Garciana, and if it wasn't for the fact that I really like the blooms, this would have been under the hedge a long time ago. It was a giant of a plant, plant on a mount that got eaten by scale. Um, bad infestation in the days when I was using wishy-washy treatments that just weren't hacking it. It might have been okay for a small infestation, but they were getting right in at the base of the plant and they were effectively chewing off the growths or, you know, they, um, even the roots got hacked. But since this piece was potted, um, it's pushed up, let me think, this new growth here, which isn't brilliant, you know, it's still got distorted leaves, didn't have any root support. Um, that's an old one, uh, should, should be trimmed off really. Um, it's pushed up this new growth, that's not too bad, but only a single leaf, so still not happy. But the latest one that's coming up actually looks quite good. And we have new roots, that's what this plant needs. It wasn't getting any hydration at all on the mount, and then the roots got eaten off. <laughs> so it's in a state of rescue, um, but I think it's going to make it. And as I say, if it wasn't for the blooms, which I like, and they're very fragrant, then that would have been long gone. But um, hopefully it will now recover. Now this motley crew are my um, Phalaenopsis type dendrobiums. Um, in my notes I have six. On my table I have four. That's because two have been lost and I don't know which ones. So I'm leaving them all in my notes until they bloom and I can work out which ones I've got and which ones got dumped. Another consequence of losing tags. Um, I've got one named one here. Um, this is um, Phalaenopsis tie angel. Now there's a very weak poor looking kiki of this lying around somewhere which may or may not have already been filmed depending on the sequence I post them in. But um, I'll have to hold this because this won't stand up on its own. The reason it won't stand up on its own is because of its latest growth which is a giant and I am well pleased with that. Well pleased. Two would have been better but in the past I have had rubbish luck with the Phalaenopsis type. Um, I can show you the rubbish luck. If you look at the older part of this plant, you know, this was borderline getting dumped. And it was only the fact that it had some new growths coming out that I decided to keep it. Now, one of those new growths is a kiki <laughs> coming straight out the top of the plant. There's a cane there that's uh, rotted, so that can come off while I'm there. Do your maintenance as you go. It's the best way. Um, but, uh, so I'm losing bits here, knocking stuff. Um, but round this side of the plant, we have the kiki, which I will take off. And um, then we have three new growths, one of which is pushing on nicely. So they will replace eventually the older part of the plant. Yeah, so that one's coming on. And this one is doing a similar thing. If you look at the older part of the plant, you look at the state this got itself in. And that looks like bugs, but I can assure you it's not. It's got spots all over it. Now that could have been some sort of bacterial related problem, but whatever it was, it stopped. But it left the leaves looking like that. So this was borderline getting thrown out, and then it just suddenly burst into life. You know, we've got a new growth coming up here, not a strong one. Another one here, 
another one here, and the good one here. So, you know, you get to stay now. <laughs> Whereas you were borderline going out. And the one at the back is the, the one that's doing the least well, but it has pushed up two new growths. This one is still growing, so that's, that's not finished yet. And the other one pushed up and matured and actually has a spike. So we can identify this one soon. As soon as those blooms open, I've got pictures of all of these. They've all bloomed. So I, I know what, which one goes with which. All I don't know is which bloom goes with which plant. But that'll identify one of them when, uh, when those blooms open. Sorry about the racket. It's just blowing a gale out there. Okay, that's that little motley group. Uh, let's get these smaller vanders out of the way. Um, this was bought as a seedling. It is growing quite nicely and it has got a good root system and it has lost its tag and it's got a name about eight foot long which as a seedling I can't be bothered with. When we get to blooming stage we'll worry about it but I'm just in the process of uh, dunking so it's a good time to get them together. Another little seedling I've decided to let this one hang. It's grown some good roots this year and two new top leaves. Um, that has got a tag on it. Now it's a class as an Asker sender, but um, the elements that made it up have probably been renamed as Vanders, so uh, that's what happens when you turn your back. Get in there. Ugh. The trouble is they have a tendency to float. And the other little one, which is a Vandacious orchid, but not a Vander, is um, Rancorides Bangkok Sunset Fragrance. Well, if it ever blooms again, I'll let you know. <laughs> this came in spike, um, very poor spike, and the, the blooms, some of them are already going over. It's got a poor root system, but just recently it's decided to sprout one of the older roots and it is growing a root, singular. It's put up um, two new leaves and is in the process of putting up a third one. So it is growing, but... Um, the older parts of the roots that are like on the ends there, you can see they're dead. But the bits behind are not dead and they are hydrating. So it's getting hydration okay, but um, it's just very slow to produce roots. So that's uh, the three smaller vandacious ones done. You can sit in there and I'll forget you for a while. Now this dendrobium was bought as a very recent import. Um, and it had all its roots chopped off. This is Dendrobium anosmum, and um, it had a sign of a new growth when I got it, which has now done that. I'm pleased with that. It's just starting to show signs that it may shed its leaves. Um, I mean, it is a fully deciduous Dendrobium, and each year it grows new canes, dumps the leaves, and then produces blooms on the, um, on the bare stems. That's the way it works. But this one's just shot itself in the foot to a degree because I can't rest this one now because it's pushing out a new cane here and another one at the back of the plant. Um, little experiment on this one, I cut the rhizome and I was hoping that the, tr the trigger mechanism in the orchid would be that it's damaged. So it tries to push growth out from behind the damaged part, which it's doing. It's not a strong growth, but it's only just started. But since I got it, it's grown a root system. So it's a successful, you know, import with no roots. And in a year, I've got, you know, one good cane, another one pushing on nicely. Good new roots coming out of that as well. And another relatively recent shoot. I don't know whether that will bloom this spring or not. It might produce some, but probably not a mass blooming. But it's a recent plant. Let's grow the thing on and get a good plant, then we'll worry about blooms later. Now this one I can just about get in shot all in one go. This is Dendrobium nesta, which is an anosmum cross. Um, it grew a single cane last year, which bloomed over the entire length. Quite a spectacle. Um, this year we've got three canes. Um, they're not as long as the previous one, and this one has finished growing. This one is still growing, and then there's a smaller one tucked away behind, which is probably still growing as well. Yeah, that's still growing. So three canes this time. 
hopefully blooms on all of them. It's pushed out a good root system during the year to go with the new canes. That's their progression. And um, we'll see how that one does. Uh, it's a good plant. I love this plant. Blooms are stunning. Um, deep magenta with an even deeper centre. Highly fragrant and lasts a reasonable amount of time. I think I get about four weeks out of the blooms. But um, yeah, large plant doing well. Right, this group of Phalaenopsis then, we've got one, one biggie. Let's have a good look at them dots. Um, this has been in bloom a long time. Um, the deepish purple one with the pale edges and quite large blooms. I've allowed the spike to branch because it looks reasonable rather than stuck up at a right angle. So we should have some more blooms on that one soon. Um, this is the other one that has virtually identical flowers, but much smaller. So it's a mini version. Um, not a brilliant root system on that one, but it's trying. It's pushing some new ones out of the top. It's got big aerial ones stuck up in the air, and it has got some roots. It's not too bad. Um, mini Phalaenopsis I always find a little bit difficult. They always seem a bit slow. But this one's picking up now. It is actually producing roots down into the pot. Yeah? And they don't need a lot of roots. They're a small plant. It's never going to get much bigger than that. But um, at least it's growing roots now. So you can see what the old root system looked like. <laughs> so at least the new one's a bit better. And the other mini fowl. Um, can't wait for this one to bloom. It's actually got a spike. Because then I can identify which one it is. Choice of several, actually. I've had a pale yellow one. I've had a small white one. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But at least it's got a spike on it. Not not brilliant root system, but it's got some. And it's not bad, and it has produced some new ones recently. So uh, coming on, as they say. Well, this is Dendrobium findlayanum. Bloomed quite well this year. Um, first time it did a good blooming. And he had sporadic blooms before. It's grown a lot of new canes this year. I'm not going to count them, there's too many. Um, the older previous year's growths are just starting to go into their autumn. They're just starting to go deciduous. So it's got like a two year cycle. The canes grow one year and then they hold their leaves for most of the rest of the following season. Then they drop their leaves and um, they can bloom on any of the canes really, including those that have lost their leaves. So um, it's one of those where cutting the old canes off might not be the best of ideas unless you're just tidying the plant, which I did do. Um, coming on well, growing well, actively growing canes at the moment, older canes starting to lose their leaves and um, it is pushing new roots out in under there somewhere. <laughs> it didn't have a very good root system uh, a while back, but it's making up for it. Coming on nicely. Okay, so that was part five. I don't know how many more parts there's going to be, but at least one. Uh, maybe two. It depends whether I want to do one giant one or two smaller ones. I'll see how it goes. I know there's a lot of clips left. What I don't know is how long they are, because some of them really are short clips the ones where I didn't waffle on too much. So uh, until I start putting them together, I really don't know how, how many clips I'm going to get into one, uh, into one part. But anyway, um, thanks for dropping by. I hope you're enjoying these. And as I say, at least one more to come, probably two. <laughs> Might even go to three, I don't know. I'll let you know as and when. Bye for now.